Hello everyone, it's your girl Cheekies and you've reached the voicemail box for Dear Cheekies. I'm here to give you advice on anything and everything you need help with. Maybe you're going through a breakup, maybe you're having issues with your family, or maybe you need help figuring out how to balance your checkbook or how to start a business. Whatever the case is, I want to hear from you. Remember, these are my thoughts and opinions, and if you're suffering from an issue or hardship, you should seek help from a qualified professional. All right, now go ahead and leave your question at the sound of the beep. You have three new messages. My question for you is, how do you deal with friendships, like your best friend? Me and my best friend always argue, we always fight, but we always come back to each other. It's kind of like a relationship in a way, and it's so hard because... You know, I feel like we stick together because of the memory and I just don't want to lose her as a friend. Like, so my question for you is, how do you deal with that? Like, how do you keep your friendships going or when do you know when to stop with a friendship? I love you and I'm looking forward to hear your message. Jennifer, I love you too. I love you too, baby. Thank you so much. This is a good question because I went through this. I had a friendship of like 10 years. Um, with someone that I considered my best, best friend. I called her my soul sister and we just had a really bad falling out. We just recently started kind of talking here and there. Of course, things will never, ever be the same. It was just a really bad falling out. It broke my heart and I'm sure it broke hers. We have to accept that some people are part of our life in that season of our life and they're not meant to move forward in the next season of our life. You know what I mean? I came to the acceptance of, you know what? She helped me out through that part and that's it. You know what I mean? And I, I'm going to stick with the good memories and, and leave it at that. Now, in any relationship, I always tell you guys this. If someone is bringing you more, more sadness, more bitterness, they're making you more upset than happy, then that's an indication of, I don't know if this person should stay in my life. Now, I'm not saying for you to break this friendship up, not at all. I think maybe you guys should try giving each other some space. You know, if you're feeling this way, you're obviously asking me this question because it's been on your mind, it's heavy on your heart. So I think if you have an open conversation and be like, look, I don't want to lose you and I want you to be a part of my life forever. I just need some time to kind of reflect. Maybe you do too, sin, sin que sepas, or maybe she just doesn't know how to say it herself. But if you guys just say, hey, let's just take some time apart, a week or two weeks. I don't know how much time you guys spend together, but all, you guys will know. This amount of time will suffice for me to figure out do I miss this person or do I have more peace without this person? So I think in my heart of hearts, that's kind of what I felt when I was listening to your message. Sometimes being too in each other's face, como que it blurs your, como tu razón, como like your clarity, your mental clarity when it's just too close. When you create some space, it gives you a chance to just analyze and reflect and think a little bit. So and hopefully that'll just, I don't know, maybe you guys will realize, you know what? Like, I miss you so much. I love you. Let's not fight so much. You know what I mean? Like, let's not be a pain in each other's ass. So yeah, that is my suggestion, Jennifer. And I hope that it helps. Let me know how it goes. Okay. Next up is a question from Esteban. Hola, mi chiqui. Soy de Cali, Colombia, la capital de la salsa. La pregunta más grande que yo te quiero hacer es... ¿Cómo haces para sobrellevar la vida? ¿Pensaste que algún día eh, todo lo que has vivido o, o cuando eras chiquita que toda tu vida iba a ser así? Llena a veces de conflictos, hay muchas bendiciones, sí. ¿Pero alguna vez pensaste que se iba a tornar todo tan duro y que detrás de tanto éxito haya tanta responsabilidad y tantas personas juzgando? Soy un defensor tuyo y me agarro con la gente en el Facebook, en el Instagram. Ay, mi Esteban, qué lindo. Wow. Desde Colombia, no manches, qué hermoso escucharte. Gracias por tu pregunta. Gracias por defenderme. Gracias, bebé. Muchas gracias. Tengo unas ganas, no sabes. Me encanta Colombia. Siempre digo, en mi siguiente vida quiero nacer y quiero ser colombiana. <risa> Así que, wow, muchas gracias. Qué, qué honor que nos estés escuchando y, y que nos mandes esta pregunta, especialmente en español, porque siento que necesitamos más preguntas en español. Pero bueno, tu pregunta. Nunca me imaginé, la verdad, especialmente porque yo fui una niña este, muy querida en la escuela por mis maestras. Este, sí tuve como bullying, por supuesto. La verdad, he vivido mucho bullying, pero siempre también tuve mucho amor. So, ya cuando entré yo en esto, en este ambiente, no pensé, la verdad, no pensé que iba a tener tanto hate, tanta gente 
pues que hablara y dice, y dice cosas que, o sea, que digo, ni al, ni, ni al caso, ¿me entiendes? Pero también tengo mucha gente que me ama. Y lo que a mí me ha ayudado es enfocarme en esa gente, en gente como tú, que me quiere, que no me conoce personalmente, pero que me defiende, que me ama, que me da la oportunidad de conocerme, de escuchar mi música antes de juzgar, ¿me entiendes? Que no se lleva a dejar por esa gente negativa. Pero la verdad, nunca pensé, no pensé que iba a ser tan difícil. Este, ahora ya estoy un poco más curtida en esto, ¿no? Más marinada, se puede decir. Más curtida en, pues, de este medio. Y como que ya te lo juro que me va y me viene. No me importa lo que digan. Digo, pues bueno, no me conocen. Yo estoy tranquila. Yo me amo. Hay mucha gente que me quiere. Me caigo muy bien. Y me siento tranquila. Yo no le hago daño a nadie. Yo no me pongo ahí este, a hablar mal de la gente este, en Facebook, en Instagram. O sea, digo, pues la gente que está realmente feliz no tiene tiempo de andar juzgando y criticando a la gente y hablando mal, ¿me entiendes? Y por eso como que cuando entendí eso me ha ayudado a sobrevivir, a decir, ok, tengo una misión, tengo algo que tengo que hacer en este mundo y me tengo que enfocar en eso. Y también he aprendido a llevar la vida un día a la vez, un día a la vez, como dice la canción. O sea, no apresurarme, no presionarme de decir el día de mañana, la semana que viene. O sea, es realmente disfrutar el día de hoy decir gracias, Señor, por este día. Gracias porque tengo dinero para comprarme comida, porque tengo un techo, porque tengo ropa, porque tengo... O sea, realmente disfrutar y saborearme este día. Y eso como que me ha ayudado tanto decir, el día de mañana quizás no despierto. Y es como que cambia algo en tu mente de decir, ¿para qué me voy a estar preocupando por lo que dice esta gente infeliz? ¿Me entiendes? Y hago lo posible de mandarles amor y paz. Este, porque aunque sea difícil, porque a veces digo, wow, se pasan, ¿no? <risa> Pero eso todo me ha ayudado, ¿eh? De decir, tengo mucho de qué estar agradecida y, y me tengo que enfocar en eso, en la gente que me ama. Y de corazón te lo digo, Esteban, gracias por, por defenderme, gracias por tomarte el tiempo. Espero conocerte cuando vaya allá a Colombia y este, espero que que haya contestado tu pregunta bien <ríe> y, y pues bueno a ver cuándo nos conocemos ok last but not least is a question from Maria hey chiquis como estas first of all I want to tell you that you're a great woman I follow your journey and I see your growth love you girl anyway so right now I'm at the point of my life where I don't know what to do I live in Houston um, me and my husband got our house Things have not been working out. He has a drinking problem. No quiere cambiar. Él es de México. I'm from Houston, Texas. And I've just been thinking about moving to Dallas with my kids. Um, I have two little toddlers and I don't know what to do anymore. Este, no tengo un trabajo fijo because I've just been staying at home with my kids. And I just don't have it together. So I don't know what to do. I don't know if to make a plan and leave. It's just not working out. I can tell that both of us still love each other, but I'm a Cancer. He's a Libra. We just don't get along in so many things. I'm 25. My kids are small. My oldest goes to school now, but my little one still has a year left. So no sé si seguir aquí. Okay, Maria. Um, well, thank you so much for your love, for your support. I am very grateful. I'm sending you a big, big hug. I'm sending you a big hug because I could hear it in your voice that you are very, very confused and you don't know which direction to take and you're hurting. I feel it. I could hear it. And I'm glad that you came to ask me because I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. And this is very, very touchy, you guys, because again, I'm not a therapist. I'm not a counselor, you know, and it's a relationship. So I'm not going to tell you divorce him, leave him. I'm just going to line it out for you and then you make the decision. Um, being with someone that has an addiction, that is an alcoholic, it is a disease. It is. And I commend you for, for being there for him and, and sticking by his side and trying to make it work because yes, you love each other and you guys have kids together. Este, but it's not easy. It's not easy, especially if the person doesn't want to help themselves. Si esa persona no quiere, o sea, hacer y tomar los pasos necesarios para cambiar, va a estar muy cabrón. 
este, and they are not only digging themselves in a hole, but they're also digging other people in a hole. And you're a mother. You have a responsibility to be an example, to protect your children. And if you're not happy and if you're feeling this way a lot more than feeling happy, than feeling excited, than feeling motivated, then that is already a red flag, in my opinion. You know what I mean? You have these kids and, and to me, they are the priority of showing them and being an example for them. And would you want this for your children? You know what I mean? You have to ask yourself that question. And what has helped me and what helped me in my past was writing down the good things, the pros about staying in this relationship, and then the cons of staying in this relationship. What outweighs what? Are there more negative things or more positive things? Only you'll be able to answer that. If he hasn't tried to go to AA or if he hasn't tried to go to some type of like help, it's just and he doesn't have the willpower to stop it for his family, then he is putting his addiction, the alcoholism first before you and his kids. And, and that worries me that especially if you're feeling like this and, and you should never, in my opinion, stay with anybody out of pity because you feel sorry for them. And you shouldn't stay with someone because it's convenient, you know, because he takes care of the bills. You know what I mean? Like I get it right now. You don't have a job and stuff, but if you have someone in Dallas that could help you with the kids while you go to work. I don't know. Again, only you know all this stuff, but I'm just kind of laying it out for you. You have to put yourself and your children first right now because they still very much need you, especially if your partner isn't doing his part in the relationship and bringing you more problems than, than good things. It's easier said than done. I, I know this is a hard situation and, and I know it's something that's been tormenting your mind. I can tell for a long time, but you are going to feel much better making a decision. Whether making a decision of saying, I am staying, this is the father of my kids. I'm gonna stay in this relationship no matter what. I'm gonna work through it. I'm gonna help him. Or the decision is I'm leaving. I love him, but this is not safe for my kids. It's not safe for me. I'm leaving. I have to do, and I will leave it in God's hands and I will figure it out one way or another. But you need to make a decision because when you're in the middle, it brings confusion. It doesn't give you clarity. It doesn't allow you to keep going. It just brings so much sadness. It's when you're in limbo. So you have to make a solid decision and make it soon because time is of the essence and life is beautiful, babe. Life is beautiful. And like, you have to enjoy it and you have to be with someone that loves you and embraces you and wants to be the best version of themselves for you. That's what you deserve. Okay. So Maria, I, I really hope that I helped. And I'm, I swear to you, I am sending you un pinche besote grandote en la frente con amor. And I am, I'm praying for you and your kids, babe. I, I hope it gets better one way or the other. Okay. Guys, those are all the questions we have for today. A big thank you to Jennifer, to Esteban and Maria. Please leave me your questions at speak pipe.com slash chickies and chill podcast i'm looking forward to hearing from you los quiero mucho 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 Mwah. this is a production of iHeartRadio and the my cultura podcast network follow us on instagram at my cultura podcast and follow me chiquis that's c-h-i-q-u-i-s for more podcasts from iHeart, visit the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.